based on the chemicals that are in the most if you're using these chem <coughs> in this video i'm going to go over the top nine products that you need to avoid in the hair products that are most common where you shop and i'm also at the end of the video going to go over products that you could look for to replace these chemicals that might be doing harm to your hair and to your body so let's get into it So the first chemical is sulfates. So why are sulfates used? Sulfates are used to clean the dirt and oil from your scalp. Some of the common names for sulfates are sodium lauryl sulfate, sodium laureth sulfate, and ammonium laureth sulfate. Basically look for the word sulfate at the end. And that's how you know you're working with a product that has sulfate in it. The reason why you want to avoid it is because it can cause an allergic reaction to your scalp and may even cause frizzy hair. Besides that, this chemical can also be a hormone disruptor. So you want to avoid this because it's also bad for the environment as well. Next one is parabens. What are parabens and why are they used? Parabens are used to increase the shelf life of these products so that they don't expire on the shelf. Common names for parabens are methylparaben, propylparaben, parahydroxybenzenate. The reason why you want to avoid it is because it can mimic the function of the hormone estrogen. It can increase the risk of cancer. So avoid parabens when you can. Polyethylene glycol. Why is it used? Polyethylene glycol is a derivative of petroleum that's used as a thickening agent in a lot of hair care products. So some of the common names that you might see, polyethylene glycol or POG for short, you might see it as polyethylene oxide, PEO, or polyethylene, POE. So just look for the acronyms PO, something at the end, and that's a good indicator that you're working with polyethylene glycol. There's not enough research available to claim of the toxicity of it, but a lot of people believe that it can have a damaging effect on your scalp. So you want to avoid polyethylene glycol when you can. Next one is phthalates. <laughs> Phthalates are used in hair care products to increase the spreadability of the product that are, they're used to make it stick to your hair and to your scalp. Some of the common names, you're either gonna see it listed as phthalate on the label or they're gonna, some manufacturer actually include it as the word fragrance. So under the current law, they, they can be simply labeled as fragrance on the product label, but many companies have actually started to remove this voluntarily from their products. Phthalates are an endocrine disruptor, meaning they can cause early puberty in girls and they are also highly dangerous for the environment. Next one, triclosan. Uh, triclosan was an important antibacterial agent in soap bars until recently, but it is still being used in shampoos, toothpastes, and deodorants. Some common names, oh, I'm gonna really mess this up. Irgesan, DP300, <laughs> Lexol 300, Sturzac, Cloxifonolum, otherwise known as triclosan. It is a hormone disruptor. Triclosan is also believed to accumulate in your fat cells and keep the body in a state of toxicity. So avoid triclosan. Next one, dimethicone. What is dimethicone and why is it used? Dimethicone is a type of silicone that is added to hair care products that acts as a protective layer to your hair shaft. Some common names other than dimethicone are polydimethyl can or PDMS. Well, the reason why you want to avoid this is because over time it can build up on your scalp. It can prevent moisture from entering your hair and can cause scalp irritation by clogging the pores. So if you have acne issues, you may want to avoid any products that have dimethylcone in it. Next up, alcohol. Why is it used? Alcohols are actually used as thickening agents in shampoo. Some common names for alcohol are ethanol, SD alcohol, denatured alcohol, propanol, propyl glycol, and isopropyl alcohol. The reason why you want to avoid it is because it can cause your hair to be extremely dry and can make your hair brittle. So if you have already brittle hair. It could be because you're using a al uh, product that has alcohol in it, or you may just want to avoid it to make the situation worse. Fragrances. Why is it used? So fragrances are made synthetically with, with a blend of a variety of toxic chemicals. They might be adding other chemicals too and calling the blend a fragrance. So some companies can use this as a way to hide some of the chemicals they use in their products by just simply labeling it as a fragrance since they are not required 
to show what makes up that fragrance. So some of the things you might see on a product label are fragrance, fragrances, or parfum. So you wanna try to avoid anything that has a synthetic fragrance added because it may cause cancer, reproductive issues, asthma attacks, or it can even affect the scalp and lead to hair loss. Next step, and this was a surprise to me, selenium sulfide. It's used as a common ingredient in dandruff shampoos used to treat dandruff. Common name, selenium sulfide, and what it can cause is selenium sulfide Sulfide has actually been proven to be a carcinogen, a cancer-causing compound, and lab mice that were exposed to this compound, selenium sulfide, showed development of tumors. So you want to avoid selenium sulfide if you can. So you might be saying to yourself, well, that's great, Alex. Now, how am I supposed to find a product that doesn't have all that stuff? Well, I'm glad you asked. So you wanna look for a product that is sulfate-free and has a mild amount of surfactants in it. You wanna also look for products that have oils such as coconut oil, olive oil, jojoba oil, or palm oil in your conditioners to help nourish your hair. But most importantly, you wanna buy from brands that are transparent and list their products on the label and on their website. So you can know exactly what you're buying. You also can look for products that have butters like mango butter, shea butter, that can form a protective layer around your hair. So make sure to avoid those types of products when you're shopping for products in the future and look for products that have more natural ingredients and you'll be doing better for your hair and for your body.